Hello friends, um, slightly different setting. We're just in my living room and my phone's on my lap. So um, I just thought that I would quickly roll and see what we're gonna do today. Oh, geez, I have no visual here. Come on. Victorian house, oh my goodness. So this is a Mirabilia, and um, I've been doing a lot of lavender laces and Mirabilias lately. You can see how uh, many blacked out ones there are over there. So okay, I will go get that all ready and do a preview video. So I will talk to you guys later, bye. I am here to do my preview video for the Today's Start. Holiday Village by Nora Corbett. Um, actually, that's the name of the series. This one is Victorian House by Nora Corbett. I believe that there are five other houses, no, five com total houses in this series. Um, so I would like to get the other four. And then as I was browsing trying to figure that out, I noticed that there was a like a snow globe house series that has six, I believe. So I'd also like to do those. But you can see here's the DMC list. There's one Karen Water Lily, three Karnics, and one of them is gonna take two spools, so and then a ton of beads and treasure. I even I op I did open it to look at this to decide where to start, and I couldn't even decide because Basically, this all is beaded, and then the chronic start, and this is just basically a lot of beads and a lot of chronic. So, um, it's going to be start sparkly and beautiful, but it makes deciding where to start a little difficult. So, we will see when I put it on my Q snap what ended up happening. Here is the bead pack, and you can see there is a lot of beads. There's a lot more beads for this tiny design than for the garden prelude that I started earlier this month. Here is um, the Carnex and the Karen Water Lily. So that's going to be like the tree and a bit of the trimming, I think. So maybe I'll start with that. I, I do like to work with silk, so. This is the DMC that is in the design. I pulled those so that I just had them all. And here is my fabric. I have not chosen a needle minder yet. Um, I hope I have another Christmas or something downstairs, but we will see. So I can't wait to get started on that. However, in the mail, something I have been waiting for arrived today, and that is a thousand of these um, little alligator, plastic alligator clips. And the reason that I have been waiting for these is because a while ago, um, hang on, a while ago, I got these magazine boards so that I could wrap um, my quilting fabric on these. However, I was having a hard time getting them to stay. And so those alligator clips finally arrived. And so here is what my boards look like. Um, it's hard to tell at this angle, but um, here's my little alligator clip holding the fabric onto the board at the top and the bottom and so so far I have done that for only three fabrics which means I have a ton of work to do and so I'm going to be slowly doing that so that's going to take up a bit of my cross stitch time but once I finally have these finished I'm going to be able to do my craft room tour which I am really looking forward to so I hope to maybe get 300 stitches on this one I'm hoping to find a somewhat blocky color area and be able to just bust out 300 and um, yeah so those are my plans 
and I will be back with my progress later tonight. Bye. Here is my progress on the Victorian house in the Holotag Village by Nora Corbett. <clears throat> That's what it will look like. And here is what I did. This is just over 200 stitches and um, I am pretty happy with this progress. So um, I worked in this area and then a little strip down this w by this window. So the colors are pretty blocky so it shouldn't be hard to finish out the stitching on this. The beading is going to take a while so <laughs> I'm not holding my breath on that one but um, I'm hoping to finish out the DMC soon ish. I chose Sully because I thought his color was very similar to the color of the house. So I'm getting low on needle minders, so my reasons for picking what I pick is getting uh, pretty unique these days. So that is why I chose Sully. Um, that's it, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. I am back really quick to do my drawing for today. Um, I haven't finished the end uh, stitching the um, my yesterday's because I wanted to finish about another 60 stitches before then. So, uh, but let's just see this. Oh boy, Fairy Tale Town, my largest new start. I'm gonna get that all out and do a preview video. So. This should be interesting. Bye. This is Fairy Tale Town, and it is massive. Um, 150 stitches high by 900 across, and there are 60. Uh, I believe there's 60 colors. Trying to open this without opening it to the pattern. There are 24 pages. Uh, it's hard to get that all in this camera view. But yeah, there's 24 pages like that. It wants me to start in the center, but that's not happening. And then the other thing I realized with this, what is nice here though, is that the colors, I don't normally like uh, color symbols, but because on this card they separated it all into um, by the colors, it's easy to look onto the pattern and see, oh, it's a red square. And so as opposed to a black square or a blue square. I do wish that they had chosen a different color besides blue. If you're going to do black, oh, and maybe there's even brown. I mean, oh yeah, these two colors are a little too close. Huh, that is frustrating. Because if you're going to do the same symbols, make the colors very different. Like, you know, a light purple or, you know, just different colors but um anyways it is that like magazine type paper which makes it hard to highlight as I go and so I'm just not positive if oops if I'm going to give this one a start yet I mean, I really want to start it because I love the design. I just think that, like, with only one day's progress, um, it's just asking a bit too much. Here are the colors. They're all on the these floss cards. I'm also thinking that I want to change that and put them into, like, floss away bags so I'm thinking this is just way more of an undertaking 
than I want to take for just one day. So maybe, I don't want to say I want to put it off till next mania because that's like a year away. But, I mean, if next year I did decide to do monogamous mania, this could be a good contender for that. So, um, I'm not stitching yet, um, so I have a little while to think about it. And we'll see what I decide. On the other hand, the other one that was drawn was Winterfell, and doing hundreds of stitches in the same color just like line upon line maybe isn't what I want to do either so we will see what happens um, so until then I will talk to you guys later bye I am here with my update on Fairy Tale Town, and to be honest, there is not much of an update to tell you guys about. Um, so what I did was I gritted the fabric, um, not all of it, just like a good portion to begin with. I didn't start it, however, and then the other thing I did was I went and I put all of the yarn into uh, floss away bags um, and then they're in a photo um, a photo box here and I'm just gonna now put this aside um, to start in a long while from now um, Maybe next mania, maybe sometime sooner, but not right now. It just, looking at the pattern, it just, it, it takes more concentration than I'm able to give it during this month. So this will be a start and focus for a good period piece, not, um, not a mania start, not unless it's monogamous. So... This did take me about three hours to do, though, so I feel like that's, um, you know, that's mania progress, so I'm going to count that as I worked on this. So, that is all, and I am going to put this away to not be seen again for a while, so, bye. I pulled out the kit for fairy tale time Town, and... It's so large and um, complicated that I'm thinking that I might put that aside for a time when I decide to go monogamous for like a month or something like that. I may still try to start it, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to go ahead and roll again and um, then we will find out later what I actually decide to do for a new start today. I may do 50 stitches or 100 stitches on fairy tale time. And I don't know why I keep trying to call it fairy tale time. Anyways, fairy tale town and then call it a day or I may just work on it today or I may not work on it and work on whatever we're about to draw. So let's just go ahead and see. Okay, so this is a nice and easy one, except for the fabric still has to be gridded. I will do both of these as separate preview videos because I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do. So I don't know what's to be included in the video. So um, that's it for now. Here is Welcome to Winterfell. This is another one from Country Magic Stitch. Um, hopefully I remember to insert a picture of this in color. The entire top section is all the same color. So that should make for some pretty mindless stitching today. Um, so if I did end up doing Fairy Tale Town that would help with this because, I mean, I can just bust out.
some stitches here mindlessly. Um, that is all in this color right here, 598, which is a nice blue. Um, however, my fabric is not gridded yet, so I still have to do that, and that will take me a little bit of time. So that is my preview for Winterfell. It's got these lovely colors in it. It's very muted looking from just the color palette. I don't remember what the color picture looks like, so maybe it'll be not as muted as it looks from here, but um, we shall see. So that is Welcome to Winterfell. And I believe I do still have a Game of Thrones needle minder that I can use for this. So, pretty excited to start this. I am here with my stopping point on Welcome to Winterfell. I managed to get 202 stitches completed and the entire project is gridded. So... I am pretty happy with that, and this is my very last Game of Thrones needle minder, so, um, when you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die, that's what it says, sorry, I'm so blind, <laughs> so, uh, there is my progress on Winterfell, and I decided to do this one diagonal block by block. Just because the entire like top four rows is the same color, so I thought just to mix it up, I would do it block by block. So that is the progress on Winterfell. It is May the 12th, and it is time to find out what I'll be working on today. So let's see. Autumn Celebration's awesome. I love this series. They're pretty small, and I'm excited to start another one. So, yay. Okay, I am back with my preview. I will be working on Autumn in the Seasonal Celebrations from Country Cottage Needleworks. I will only be doing the cottage part. And I am thinking that, just like in the spring one, I will do the pole work across the letters and then go the pull down and then try to fill in as many of the flags as I can. So that will be my goal for today. Um, I didn't actually do yesterday so I need to make that up and so we will see what gets done. These are the DMC colors that are in. Um, oh, I need to bring out white as well, but here we go, a nice autumn color range, lots of browns, and some just really nice autumn colors. These are the two specialty threads that are in this one, so we have Harvest Moon from um, Gentle Arts, and Be Bean Sprout from Classic Colorworks. So, and this is my fabric, and I think that they will look really nice on here. This is 28 Count Bear Sweet Light Joe Blinn, and I got it from Picture This Plus years ago, um, when I had intended to do this in another mania, so now I'm finally going to do it, so... Um, that is the preview, and I will update you guys later. Bye. I am really excited about my progress on this one, Seasonal Celebrations Autumn. I did 594 stitches. I almost completed all the banners up top. I uh, just needed to finish this one, which is like... I don't know, 30 more stitches, so I don't know why I didn't, except for I was super tired, so. Um, I love how this looks on this fabric. It is just turning out even better than I'd hoped for, so I will be really excited to get back to this one. I think it will be a fairly uh, quick finish. Um, 
I think that my plan for next mania, I've been thinking about this, and I think that I am going to attempt to buy starts, and by that I mean that for the next 11 months until next mania, every two finishes, I can have one mania start. So that should hopefully incentivize me to get some of these ones that will be fairly close and easy to finish off my plate. Um, so I'm going to try to hold back on as many starts as possible for the rest of the year and just maybe go full in on mania. So we will see. As you guys know, I am addicted to starts, so <laughs> that may not happen. Um, I will talk about that more on my wrap up video at the end of this month. So until then, that is all. Bye. It is time to roll the wheel or spin the wheel. <laughs> roll the wheel. It's time to spin the wheel and discover what I will be working on today. I also have a lot of video editing that I need to do. I worked on a couple projects last night um, because I had missed a day. So I worked on um, both the autumn, um, the autumn seasonal celebration, and I worked on the Welcome to Winterfell, um, and I don't think I've done the update from the day before that either, so it's going to be like a three-day-in-one update, but let's roll and see what I'll be working on today after that. Fairy Godmother, okay, I will be back in a moment with the, um, preview video of that. I'm a little apprehensive about my fabric choice, even though I've gotten really good feedback on it. Uh, I've started to question myself, so, um, we will see. Bye. And we are back. Here is Fairy Godmother, Grandmother, from Lavender and Lace. I am pretty sure I'm going to start up over in this area. It's got some Actually, that's green, not gray, like I thought. And that's actually a purple in between, not a black like I thought. So, I mean, that's really awesome. But, um, it's got some colors I need for one of my challenges on Stitchy Quest. So, probably going to start there. Okay, originally, this is the fabric I picked for it. And I'm just a little worried it's a little too wild for me, but maybe not. I don't know. I am struggling so much with this decision. It's just, I tend to be very neutral in my fabrics. So I pulled out this one, which is called Trade Winds. And it's um, a bluish gray, I would say, probably. Lighter than it appears on the screen. And I just... Oh, it's so hard to decide. And <laughs> I have to decide now. Eee. Maybe I will go with this fabric and just trust my initial instincts. Um, this is Under the Sea Fabrics. The color is Calipi. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I hope to get in a hundred... 200 stitches somewhere around there um so we shall see i will i also have to film that update and then edit it all so um i don't know how much i'll get done but i will talk to you guys later bye i am back with my progress report on fairy grandmother i did 401 stitches so that is quite a bit of progress i think um, this is appearing darker than it is in real life. I chose the evil stepmother needle minder because the fairy godmother is kind of like the fairy grandmother who is Cinderella's fairy grandmother. So I worked um, in this area over here to just above here. So um, I think that's some pretty decent progress. And... I really enjoyed this, so I will be eager to pick it up again whenever that might be. But for now, here we are. It is time to pick 
what I'm going to work on today. I still have to film the video uh, with the update, so I will look to do that right after this. And then hopefully get them posted because oh, it's getting later and later. So here we go. Ooh, Royal Games. Okay. So this is a Mirabilia, and I will be back with a preview video shortly. Okay, I am back with just a very small preview video. I have here Royal Games 1. I still need to buy the second pattern, and I think I'm going to give them to my husband. Um, he likes poker, so I'll give it to him. This is going to be stitched on 28 count even weave Lugana Monaco. Um, I think I got this out of Joanne's, so I need to get another one of these so I can stitch the other one. And I have here the bead pack. Um, so you can see there is a lot of sparkle in this design, which is great. There's no Krynik or any fancy floss, so it's just DMC and a lot of beads. <clears throat> As for my stitching plans, I think what I'm going to do is there is a black border in between these two designs. And I think that I am going to go ahead and stitch that and then maybe continue some of the black down onto the spade, the queen of spades. So um, that is my plan. Just some easy DMC 310 stitching today. So um, I will update you guys with my progress later. Bye. I am here with my progress on Royal Games from Mirabilia. I managed to get in 401 stitches all in black on this. Um, so if you look at the picture, I worked this section and I've started to work on her glove. I haven't yet reached her hand, but I'm pretty close to it. So I'm pretty happy with the progress I've made on this. I really love it and it's stitching up pretty fast. So that's all for this one. It is time to spin the wheel and see what I will be working on today. It's um, May 15th. I forgot the sound on again. Ooh, Frosted Pumpkin Once Upon a Time sampler. Um, I'm so excited. I've been, I, just today I was wondering when I would get a chance to work on a Frosted Pumpkin. So, looks like we have an answer. I will be back with a preview of that in a minute. I am hoping that I put in a picture of this in color before starting this preview, but here is the Once Upon a Time sampler. Um, I intend to work on the border, which is made up of two specialty floss colors. So here are the three specialty flosses in this project. Um, so we have here, Blackberry. Moss is the one that's not in the border. And then this one is Merlin. So Blackberry and Merlin make up a good portion of the border. And so I'll just be working with those colors um, for the most part. I am stitching this on a sparkly Picture This Plus. I still haven't decided if that's Dove Moon. But um, actually the pattern's right here. So I think it might say what it is. Hang on. Um, crystal, it says doubloon. Oh, I keep reading dove moon, but actually it's, um, doubloon. I was gonna say, it does not seem like a dove moon color to me. I would have pictured that more like a grayish blue or something, but, okay, so it's doubloon. <laughs> And uh, 28 count, this is 18 by 27. And these are the DMC colors that are in this pattern. 
Um, I ordered it as a kit a couple of years ago, a year or two ago. Um, so I have them all separate. That's why I'm not just pulling from my master set. So, um, so yeah, I will be starting on the border and we will see how much I can get done. I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Here is my stopping point on the Once Upon a Time sampler from Frosted Pumpkin. Um, I have almost finished this whole center motif and then this is the start at the border. So um, I managed to do 400 stitches on this and I am really looking forward to picking up this piece again. I'm hoping to finish all of the border and then do a block a month in 2021. So I'd like to finish the border this year. So I'm looking forward to um, picking that back up again. And this was just really enjoyable to work on. So that is my update. I do have two needle minders on it because when it was on the edge of um, the Q-snap, I flipped both sides up and pinned them down with a with a needle minder so that's why there are two here but anyways that's all on this one so would really love to pull this one out again soon but I've said that about every new start so <laughs> it's gonna be hard to decide what to work on after this okay it is time to roll for today I am in my kitchen right now so different location but let's see what are we gonna work on Oops, volume's on again. Winter Queen. So another Mirabilia. Okay, happy about this. And I will go do a preview video in just a moment. I am here with my preview for Winter Queen from Mirabilia. Um, I have opened up this chart and I've decided I'm going to work in this darker blue section over here on the dress. However, I thought I would show you guys the floss list real quick. And look, there are seven skeins of DMC white in it and six skeins of 341. That's so crazy. I don't think I've seen that many of one color on a Mirabilia before. I mean, I definitely could be wrong, but that's the first for me. So I didn't really want to stitch with white though, so I decided... Um, Excuse me, sorry. Um, 793 is probably what I will be working with. That dark blue. This is the fabric that I will be stitching on. It is called Camelot. It's Lugana 28 count, 17 by 26 inches, and it's a color in cotton. So I will be putting that on my Q snap and um, putting in some stitches. So that's all. I will update you guys with my progress later. Bye. I am here with my progress report on the um, Winter Queen. It is actually not even 6 p.m. yet. It's 5.30, but I am going to just do the update on her. I did get 405 stitches. I did do some in white, actually, about 70, um, but because I'd run out of an easy count to work on this and uh, the, the nearby colors were either blends or just not as easily accessible as my white threads. So um, this is where I got to and I am really happy with this progress. Um, the reason I'm calling it quits is because I have been up since 1 a.m. because I am now attempting to reset my sleep schedule because I've basically been staying up all night and sleeping during the days and so I'm going to try to get back on the same sleep schedule as my husband and um, so yeah I'm hoping to go to bed soonish but right now it just uses too much of my brain to cross stitch so um, I am putting this aside. I hope to edit my video because I haven't yet and it needs to go up and then maybe do some knitting or crochet, um, something pretty mindless and hopefully going to bed around 8.30 or something ridiculously early for me, but we'll hopefully reset the sleep schedule. So 
this is my progress on this. I do have another update to share with you guys. And that is that I finished my sock. This is my first ever sock. I managed to do the toe, the toe decreases, and all of this. And I am so super proud of myself. Um, this little unicorn needle minder is where I was at the start of May. And I just, I managed to finish it. So I'm just gonna take it off of here real quick. So you can see the patterning on the front. And this is a real simple pattern repeat. That was, it's just a two line repeat, a two row repeat. And it's so easy to memorize. So maybe tonight I will cast on the cuff for the, for its pair. <laughs> Um, my Kitchener stitch was not the best. It's not the best toe ever, but you know what? Um, I did it. <laughs> I managed to do it, and so, you know, it'll just get better. Right now, it is what it is, so. This is my first ever complete sock, and maybe I'll have the other one done by Halloween, and I can have my Halloween sock, so. I'm so happy, so proud of myself, and um, I learned a lot doing this sock. So that is my other progress report for today as I finished it. I didn't actually think I would. It was a goal, but I didn't think I would, and maybe I'll be able to finish the cuff by the end of this month, of the next one. So we shall see. That's all for today. Now I have to get editing and hopefully um, get this posted. I'm also going to do my drawing for tomorrow early so I can get prepared for that, get on the Q-snap and all just primed and ready. So um, it is garbage day, so I have to do that also. But yeah, that's all. I hope you guys had a wonderful week since I haven't actually posted. <laughs> Bye.